Great example of what we learned is right here at Dick's Hamburgers. You can get their classic whammy for less than $5 and it's a great deal of course right now, but 30 years ago that exact same burger was just $1.07. Large up for 60 years. Here you are, sir. Anyone passing third in division you have your yeah. has seen this. Dick's hamburgers, staple of Spokane. Jamie McBride has been general manager of Dick's for two years. I've been here 30 years. Over the years, she's learned their prices stand out in Spokane. Volume. It's about volume here more than just trying to gouge the customers. Even their best seller is cheap. The whammy is our most popular burger. It's $4.35. Well, we do our best to keep our prices affordable. But as for the rest of Spokane. It has gotten crazy expensive. Can't do it anymore, hardly. Rob Robson used to go out with his family all the time. Probably twice a week. But with the increasing prices now. Maybe twice a month. Eating out in general is just more expensive than it used to be. It's hard to get out for under $75. We pulled burger prices from the top 15 sit-down burger joints in the city, according to Yelp. The most expensive place to get a burger on the list? Durkin's famous double at $19. And on average, the cheapest burger comes from Mary Lou's Milk Bottle. Their burgers average just $11.66. After comparing more than 100 prices, a burger will cost you, on average, $16.26 here in Spokane. It's even getting difficult for Dick's to keep their promise of low prices. Right now, the cost of every product that we get in here is going up. That inflation is hitting the customer's wallets. We don't go out as much as we used to. But Sherry Battle says it's more than just inflation affecting Spokane's prices. Well, with Kindle Yards and that sort of things coming, the places have just got more yuppie, kind of is what I always tell my daughter. <laughs> and she laughs at me. I'm like, oh, yeah, things have gotten kind of yuppie here. Sherry says upscale restaurants are replacing places like Rocky Rococo's and Azar's. That's why I'm at Dick's. But Dick's <laughs> is planning on keeping the cheap eats around as long as possible. So Jamie said another reason Dick's Hamburger specifically is struggling to keep their prices as low as possible is also minimum wage. So there's just several factors all adding up to more expensive meals in the Spokane area. In Spokane, Nicole Hernandez, Crunch 2 News.